Well, another high-profile U.S. official is in Asia right now. This time for trade talks. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross is said to meet with Chinese officials on Sunday as the U.S. and China try to fend off a potential trade war. The White House said earlier this week that it is forging ahead with billions of dollars' worth of tariffs on Chinese products. Beijing has pledged to buy more American goods, but the U.S. Commerce Secretary wants commitments on how that will happen. Well, there is a lot happening in the Trump administration today. Let's bring in columnist and political commentator Ellis Hennigan from New York. Uh, good to have you with us, as always, Ellis. Uh, just firstly, this, this North Korean summit. Clearly, as I was just discussing with um, Nick Robertson, South Korea and Japan very much at odds with how they view this summit and what the U.S. is already putting on the table. It really does appear that they're offering up a lot and not getting much back in return. Well, we're in a moment of lowering expectations, right? What started out as the complete denuclearization summit is now the nice to meet you summit. And if you keep the bar low enough, don't forget, uh, you can declare a success. So uh, if we get a handshake and a, and a smiling photograph and a, and a see you later sometime, friend, I guess that will have been a success on these terms. Yeah, absolutely. I want to move to trade because, of course, uh, the U.S. president announced uh, uh, billions of dollars worth of tariffs on steel and aluminium, and uh, countries were very quick to list their countermeasures. You can see here we've got a graphic up. Mexico mm -hmm. uh, promising billions of dollars in tariffs on lamps, pork, fruit, cheese, Europe on motorcycles, denim, juice, peanut butter, Canada on sailboats, yogurt, beer kegs and steel. But it's quite interesting to note that even within the Republican Party, there are, are at least 100 Republicans on his side that are against this, that have written a letter to the president pleading with him not to do it. Uh, please, no tariffs on beer kegs. Uh, that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that can make politicians of both parties take note. Um, yes, listen, any, any time you threaten these things, and particularly if you threaten them against your closest allies, you're going to get some pushback. I mean, it's a it, it's a hard lesson to learn, but one I, I think maybe the White House is learning that uh, that it's uh, this is dangerous rhetoric, and some of it gets thrown back in your face pretty quickly. It certainly does, Ellis Hellican. And again, <laughs> always good to have you with us. Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> good to see you, Lynn. Well, still to come on scene and newsroom, people in Italy are uh, commemorating the founding of their country with parades and events throughout the day. But there's another reason they're celebrating today. We will explain and take you to Rome next.